Okay, now we're going to dive in a bit deeper into the text editor page type. We're going to look at uploading images, how to upload images in the text editor. Uploading images in text editor works a bit differently. So we're going to show you exactly how that's done. Here's the page we were working on in the text editor. We haven't done very much here, but uh, from the previous video, we kind of got a, got a page started here. Now to upload an image, I'm going to go ahead and I could set my uh, cursor anywhere on the page. I'm gonna go ahead and set it right here next to getting started. And I'm going to go over here to the image upload button, which looks like this. I'm moving my mouse around it here. I'm gonna click on that and I'm going to, it brings up the image properties dialog. And within here, I need to click on Browse Server to choose one of my images. Now, once I get in here, let's get this on the screen here. Once I get into the screen, you can quickly see that the folder is empty. I don't have anything in my images uh, uh, folder here. So let's go ahead and upload an image. I'm going to add files. I'm going to go under Recent Places. In my case, actually, in my case, I'm going to go to Desktop and Web Photos. Now. Inside here, I'm going to switch my view to large icons, which allows me to see the images that I'm that I'm uploading. Now I could go ahead and select several images here um, and just go ahead and upload those at one time. Okay, now it's going to go ahead and just start whipping through the uploading of these images. Okay, and we have pre-scaled these images. If you want to uh, find the tutorials on that, we have several several tutorials on scaling your images before uploading for rapid uploads. Um, but as you're about to see, these images are still quite a uh, good size in terms of their screen display. They just upload quickly because we're not uploading an image that's you know much too big. So let's go ahead and choose this crab. And I'm going to double click on the image to bring it into the to the image upload dialog that we were looking at earlier. Now inside here, I can see that the image is going to appear quite large on the screen. So I'm gonna bring this image down, but I'm going to keep the ratio lock on. This is the ratio lock. It can be turned off or on. I'm gonna keep it turned on, and I'm gonna put this down to, let's say, about 500 for our width. And I'm going to pop that in here. Now, as you can see, that looks a little bit clunky. We've got an image sitting here and we've got sort of, you know, just kind of doesn't look like it's um, well organized. What I'm going to do is I'd like to place this image so that it floats to the right side of the page and leaves our text uh, content that we had on the left. And also that will even out this um, so that it brings the getting started back up to the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the image right click on the image and choose image properties. So we select and then click with the right mouse button, choose image properties, and I'm going to simply set the alignment to align right. Okay, and then I'm going to select okay. Now look what we've got. We've got a page that looks much, much better already. Um, the image is floating over to the right. We've got our, our uh, text bumped back up to the top so that the top is aligned. So let's go ahead and publish and we'll take a look at how that's going to look on the actual website. We're gonna preview the page, get into our photos area and go into the text editor. And there it is, just exactly as we left it. Now, the only thing that's that's slightly changed is that the, um, the image is still a bit large and it's kind of bumping uh, the text over into too narrow of a margin here. Now, obviously this is going to flex a little bit depending on what um, site skin has been chosen for your website. So some, some skins, for example, would have a body area that stretches this whole width, uh, and some are auto stretching, which will stretch, you know, whatever the width of the window is. This, is hap this happens to be a fixed width uh, design, and so we've got this certain, you know, space here to work with. So let's go ahead and show how we can edit this image smaller um, so that it fits uh, in a way that lays out, you know, in a, in a more desirable way on the website. I'm going to close that go back into our editor, go back into the text editor page type, and we're simply going to select the image again by clicking on it, right click, choose image properties, and I'm going to simply bump this down. Now I wanna make sure that my ratio is locked when I do this. So I'm gonna choose 400 width, and the height will autom automatically uh, adjust since we're scaling down the width, but we have the ratio locked. 
So we're going to accept that. That bumps us down to here. And let's go ahead and see how that looks on the website. I'm going to publish and preview the site again. Okay. And here we are under text editor. And as you can see, that gives us a little more space. It feels a little bit more um, uh, relaxed in there in the space allowed. So we, we there's a lot we can do. Um, in a future tutorial, we're going to be looking at um, setting up grids or tables, which will actually allow you to um, place content, either text or image content, into a really well-organized sort of uh, grid layout. Uh, we're going to look at that in a future uh, tutorial, but for now, that is how to upload images into the SiteSkins text editor. Thanks for watching.